Our pathology department is located in two sites, Paris Saint-Joseph Hospital and Marie Langlung Hospital. We perform diagnosis in a variety of diseases, uh, including expert thoracic pathology, and we generate around 150 hundred slides each year. Digital pathology was implemented in 2022 to allow all pathologists to work remotely since uh, the technical workflow was centralized uh, at Paris Saint-Joseph Hospital. It was particularly important to keep pathologists at Marie Langlung Hospital to interact with clinical and research teams. Paris Saint-Joseph Marilyn Long, c'est quoi C'est un établissement associatif situé en région parisienne. Ces deux établissements travaillent ensemble avec des équipes médicales communes. Numérisation, c'est un outil au service des médecins. La numérisation est un moyen d'avoir un meilleur niveau de diagnostic en cas de certains partenariats à venir, de pouvoir aussi partager l'ensemble des données. Et demain, qui sait, pour des établissements qui ne disposent pas d'anapath ou qui ont des besoins ponctuels, de pouvoir être en support auprès d'eux. Digital transformation was successful for pathologists and now most of them prefer to work digitally. It allows an easier organization of their work as well as the use of new functionalities such as measurements, multiple slide alignment and of course better collaboration in the team. Many cases require a second opinion or an expert discussion and uh, digital pathology also facilitates education of training pathologists in the team. Digital pathology makes the microscopic image much more accessible and creates a lot of new opportunities for partnerships. Taking pathology to the digital age also increases our collaboration with medical imaging. It allows much more efficient correlations and discussions from the patient to the microscopic scale. Our aim is to integrate all our imaging data with the clinical context into an integrated diagnosis. We think that this approach could be very valuable to help clinical decision making and improve patients' care. So regarding integrated diagnosis, what we foresee is the image of a puzzle. Each part of the puzzle represents one of the diagnoses that is made by uh, pathology or radiology or biology and with Assembling this puzzle, we are able to have a personalized approach of our patient's disease. The main goal is finally to improve patient care. From a clinical standpoint, the availability of virtual slides during multidisciplinary meetings increases the involvement of pathologists. This is very valuable to help us organizing and optimizing the analysis we perform from the sample from patient's care. So radiology and medical imaging have been for a long time used to digitalization. So we have a long experience also using for the last five or six years artificial intelligence tools using deep learning algorithm. So these tools will not replace healthcare professionals but will help radiologists and tomorrow pathologists to better and to accurately diagnose our patients with cancer. Beyond workflow organization, the full potential of digital pathology relies on computational pathology and the use of artificial intelligence-based tools. First, computer-aided diagnosis, increasing reliability, precision of analysis and shortens the run time for patients. Second, predictive algorithms will allow to get more information from tissue section and go well beyond what we can do at the microscope. We can also interact much more efficiently with the research team involved in diseases biology or developing new diagnostic tools. Donc cette mise en place s'inscrit non seulement dans un projet de numérisation mais surtout dans un partenariat, un partenariat avec Philips. Partenariat, il a quoi comme objectif déjà de faire évoluer la technologie, faire évoluer ce process, de pouvoir le fiabiliser, puis après pouvoir aussi le proposer avec Philips pour d'autres, et puis apprendre au fur et à mesure. Toute innovation nécessite des apprentissages, des mises en œuvre, et c'est ce qu'on fait faire avec Philips. Our goal is to promote new ways of profiling diseases in order to assist clinicians and patients in personalized decision making. We are of course at the beginning of this story and identifying the most relevant modalities and applications is an important challenge.